Hey everyone, welcome to another D&D Tips video. I literally haven't made one in a year and a half. But I decided to make a new one because I was playing recently and discovered something that I needed to tell everyone by standing on my soapbox and preaching to the crowds! Oh, you ever playing D&D &D and the dungeon master is making it all super scary and you've got very low hit points and you've got to clear out a dungeon of something kind of spooky, so before heading in you stock upon rope, potions, and scrolls. Devise a plan to make an escape route, begin strategizing with your friends when suddenly, from nowhere, the DM calls down from the sky and says, Wow, you guys are really overthinking this. It's just a few goblins. This really frustrates me. When I'm playing, I like to immerse myself in the game and devise a plan on what to accomplish. When the DM gives us a quest, it's our duty to get it done, in our own stupid, idiotic way. Sometimes the most fun quests can be the ones where we just gotta clear out some rats, but the rogue thought it would be fun to throw alchemist fire on them, and rolled a natural one, leading to an old lady's house being completely burned down. Oops. Sometimes when I'm going through a dungeon, I like to scan every wall. Maybe the DM has described each room to be super creepy. It's dark, raining, and we're low on spell slots, so we gotta be extra careful. Now hold up, let's reverse this perspective. See where the problem comes into play is when the dungeon master sees the game as a game. See his perspective on the entire situation is different. Notes, descriptions, music, characters, passive perceptions, encounters, monster stats, all of it. The only thing he can't or shouldn't control is the players. So when the players begin to backtrack, slow down, and overall stop progress in order to do apparently meaningless things, it's hard to not help them out and say, hey guys, there's really nothing in this cave, don't worry about it. Now flip back to the players. We're preparing a campsite, we're setting up ropes and spells in case anyone attacks us, coming up with ideas. When the DM says, hey guys, there's really nothing in this cave, don't worry about it. Well, okay then. All that role-playing strategy and tension is now gone. We can now metagame and pursue further with no idea of threat. One of the best things you can do as a dungeon master is build tension and atmosphere. These two things draw on your players to make them feel like they are actually there. Curse of Strahd does this very well. Its descriptions and scenarios are written into the book and are super creepy and make your players constantly feel like they are on edge. And they should be. We all know the old bone grinder. When your players are believing in your fantasy, they are oftentimes not going to follow the path that you intend. They may create their own little story based on what they want to do. They may over-prepare for a dungeon, but then they'll know that for the future. Maybe next time, beef up your dungeon with some monsters, and they'll never forget that lesson again. Maybe they're solving a mystery. Maybe they aren't looking in the right direction, and they're stumped. Don't help them out, trust me. It's more satisfying to watch them figure out your puzzle than to tell them the answer. Why? It makes your game feel real. As soon as you start to show behind the screen, they begin to remember that this game is no more than some notes and dice rolls, that it can be manipulated by you and nothing matters. Your players want to feel like heroes of the story and you should let them. Don't reveal what's going on behind the screen no matter how much you want to. Now, this is said in all fairness. After games, I totally talk about certain monsters and aspects of the game they may never know about if they so choose to know, but that's all in good fun. As a dungeon master, a primary goal should be to maintain your sense of immersion. I find music to be the best source of this. In images, descriptive scenery that the players can understand and relate to are wonderful tools. If your players are afraid of your game, like scared of creeping villains and terrifying monsters, and are actively avoiding or trying to ensure they don't die horribly, I think you've succeeded as a dungeon master. You've convinced people sitting in your apartment around a table with Doritos and Mountain Dew that they may DIE TONIGHT TO VAMPIRE SPAWN! Good work, storyteller. Keep it up. And let them overthink everything. Let those silly, silly players think that holy water will stop a lich. <laughs> It'll make your game fun, interesting, and filled with stories to tell your children's 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 children.